After Effects allows you to create animation and special effects for graphics-related projects. You can use After Effects to animate, alter, and composite media using various tools and optional plugins. The program is widely used by motion graphics professionals, website designers, and visual effects artists for post-production on digital films, DVD, video, and the web. This course was written using After Effects CC 2014 because it's the most recent and updated version of the After Effects program. Here are the notable updates and improvements to this version of the software program. The ability to preview your video on an external monitor using Mercury Transmit. Compositing options for each effect. The ability to import masks from Adobe Premiere Pro. HTML5 panels. The ability to edit text templates that you create in After Effects in Premiere Pro. The ability to import Sony RAW footage as well as MPEG4 SSTP or Simple Studio Profile. And Sony SR MXF files. And more. This course was designed to teach you how to successfully use After Effects, no matter if you've ever used the program before or not. Both the beginner and seasoned user can benefit from this course, starting with the basics of the program, including navigation and continuing on to more advanced features. You don't need to have access to After Effects to take or complete the course. However, it is recommended. Please note that a 30-day free trial of After Effects CC is available on the Adobe website for those who want to practice what they learn and follow along. We've broken this course down into multiple lessons to make it easier for students to study and practice the program. Each lesson details different features of After Effects and provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to use them. At the end of each lesson, you'll find a lesson exercise and lesson assignment. The lesson exercises were designed to test you on the material presented in that lesson. Lesson exercises are graded, therefore they're mandatory. Lesson assignments give you a chance to practice what you've learned in the lesson by using After Effects. These are optional and do not affect your grade, but it is encouraged that every student try to complete them. This is the After Effects interface. This is what you'll see each time you open the After Effects program on your computer. At the top of the After Effects application window, you'll see the menu bar. You'll find the tools and commands that you need to successfully use After Effects in the menu bar. However, much of the time you'll find that you can also access the same tools and commands in the panels. Below the menu bar, you'll see the toolbar. You will use the toolbar a lot in After Effects. We'll discuss how to use these tools as we progress through the course. The After Effects interface is made up of panels. Unlike a lot of other programs you've probably used in the past, Adobe After Effects contains several different workspaces, each featuring panels related to the workspace. This is the standard workspace. The panels displayed in the standard workspace contain the tools and commands you'll need when working in this workspace. This is the project panel. When you change the workspace, some of the panels will change as well. This is so the tools and commands that you need are right there when you need them. To change the workspace, go to the Workspace menu to the far right of the toolbar. Click the downward arrow to the right of Standard. You'll then see the various workspaces that you have to choose from. You'll choose the workspace by the task that you need to complete. If you wanted to work with text, for example, you would choose the Text workspace. This is the Text workspace. Note that with the text workspace, we see the character panel. You can add or remove panels from a workspace by going to Window in the menu bar. Panels with a check mark beside them are already showing in the workspace. Click to remove the check mark and remove it from the workspace. Place check marks beside panels that you want to appear. If you want to brighten or dim the interface in After Effects, go to Edit Preferences Appearance on a PC and After Effects Preferences Appearance on a Mac. Drag the brightness slider to the left to decrease the brightness and drag it to the right to increase it. A workflow is a series of steps that you take to complete a project using a software program, such as Adobe After Effects. Although following the workflow is not mandatory and ultimately will not affect the outcome of your project, it does make things quicker and easier. The After Effects workflow has six steps. Import and organize your footage. Create your compositions and arrange layers. Add effects. Animate elements. Preview your work. 
and render and output the final composition. You'll find how to complete each of these steps in this course. If you need help while using Adobe After Effects, there are several places that you can find it. The first place is within the program itself. Type the topic for which you need help into the search box. The search box is to the right of the workspace menu. We're going to type Add Text, then press Enter on the keyboard. When you press Enter, your internet browser will open a window. You'll be taken to search support on the Adobe website. You can scroll through the search results and choose which result seems to provide the answer that you need. You can also go to Help in the menu bar, then After Effects Help. Once again, a browser window will open to Adobe. You can type a topic into the search box or click a topic to learn more about it.